And again, welcome to Idaho Today. Today in our community corner, we are featuring a local nonprofit that is helping to fight against Alzheimer's. We're joined now by Adrian. She's the executive director of Alzheimer's Association Greater Chapter, or Greater Idaho Chapter, that is. So great to have you join us. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me. This is fantastic. All right, so we want to educate our viewers about the Alzheimer's Association. So give us a little background. What is your mission? So our mission is simple. It's a world without Alzheimer's and all other dementia. And I think that through the work of the Alzheimer's Association, we're actually going to see that. Um, we know that we have about 27,000 Idahoans that live with Alzheimer's, and that's going to grow by about 22% in the next three years. Idaho is a aging state. And um, so we know that there are a lot of people, both people with Alzheimer's and their caregivers that are that are suffering with this. Okay, so this is something that really does hit home here in the Gen State. And you not only provide support though for people with Alzheimer's, but also their caregivers, which is a huge role in itself. So tell us about some of that support that you do give. Yeah, so uh, we have we have a number of different information and resources for the over 42,000 caregivers here in Idaho. Um, this disease can be extremely isolating. It can feel like you're all alone. Um, so we not only do care navigation where we take families by the hand and walk them through the diagnosis, uh, but we also have support groups um, where people get together and talk about what they're going through. We also have community education. Again, one of the things that I hear all the time is I think I have Alzheimer's because I'm losing my keys, right? Mm -hmm. And yeah. so um, we provide opportunities not only for understanding Alzheimer's dementia, um, but also know the 10 signs of Alzheimer's where we provide information to the community about Alzheimer's and all the dementias. Great, so there's that awareness out there too, so that if someone, like you mentioned, is concerned, they're able to at least identify and go, oh, can I get ahead of this, right? Because from what I hear is if you can at least acknowledge the early onset symptoms, that there, there might be more you can do, is that correct? Absolutely. Treatments are coming out all the time um, with research. We recently got, we recently saw the, the, the um, first drug that, that uh, treats the underlying causes of Alzheimer's. Um, and there's a lot of life still to be led in, yes. in, in Alzheimer's. And so, and a lot of decisions that need to be made. And, and, it, and people, I think, sometimes just want to not talk about it and kind of ignore it, right? But we, we know that people that acknowledge it and can be a part of those decisions early on are in a much better place. Yes, so, yeah, and, it's, and it's better yeah. for everyone, as mentioned, right? This um, this is a disease that not only impacts the individual going uh, that has it, but everyone else also who loves that individual goes through this process as well. Um, and so tell us, though, those who are watching, uh, how can they get involved? How can the community get involved in this, whether they need your resources or they know somebody else who needs resources uh, or they want to volunteer? Tell us about the many different ways people can become a part of this. Oh, man, you just asked the silver bullet question to every <laughs> nonprofit, right? And the, the answer is very clear and, and pretty short. Uh, it's volunteers. And so if people want to get involved, um, we are always looking for volunteers and really opportunities to share our resources and our information out in the community. So if you're a small business owner, can we come talk to your employees? Can we come talk to your client base? Um, and we're, again, if people want to get involved with Walk and Alzheimer's, uh, we have places for them to go. And so, uh, do you want me to give the phone number, the website, what works you best You share for your, your contact info right now. You just give it all out. Perfect. Let's do it. It's pretty easy. It's alls.org slash Idaho, or you can call the office at 208-206-0041. And we will, we will, we will help you out. Excellent. And then too, if people Google Alzheimer's Association of, is it Greater Idaho, will they yep. then find your branch? Yep, absolutely. And like I said, if it's alz.org slash Idaho, it's pretty easy to find us. All right, thank you so much, greatly appreciate it. And uh, I know a lot of people are going to be reaching out to you and uh, really appreciative of all that you do in our community. So thank you. Oh, thank you so much for this opportunity. You really appreciate it. Okay, you take care, bye-bye.